how's everybody doing today? It's Matt again, and we're going racing again this weekend. We got everything loaded up. Uh, it's Friday night now, about six o'clock, so that's a big one for us. We're not usually loaded up this early. We're like uh, 6 a.m. kind of guys, but uh, we're going to do the carts again this weekend, so hopefully we'll get a good vlog for you guys. Uh, hopefully successful as we did last time. We're racing rounds three and four of the SAS series. So last time out we did rounds one and two. Won the first round, got third and second round. Uh, that was major for us, like, in terms of a win. Um, so hopefully this weekend goes as well, but uh, pretty much be happy with anything like a top five. Uh, there's going to be a lot of strong guys out there again this weekend. So um, other than that... We decided to uh, forego the Fresh Go 150 in the Super Late model this weekend. Uh, we raced two weekends ago at Wine Creek Raceway. Went, uh, it went good. That was our first real laps with anger in the Super Late model here. So, uh, we did okay. So, it's a big learning curve, definitely, coming from the carts. Uh, more so just with the full-size car and everything. Speeds, I actually think the cart's a little faster, but... Just learning how wide the car is and everything uh, as well a lot of the setup is you know still learning how big changes are and that kind of thing so it's a little bit to get used to um but we did well 11th out of 14th hey i'm pretty happy with that uh, we beat a couple of really strong guys so we're looking for more next time and that'll be at the end of the month we're gonna go do two more super late model races this year so this will be it for the carts but super late model will be going again Give you guys a quick look here at the trailer, if you can hear me in kind of the wind. So we're pretty much all loaded up. This trailer is a bit overkill just for the cart racing, but it does make everything kind of nice and easy. So we're still bringing the pit cart out with us this weekend. Uh, it's just too handy. You know, you can throw basically your entire shop or the tools in one box and bring it with you to the races and you don't worry about for anything. Uh, other than that, lots of family that's coming out tomorrow, so that's going to be fun. Lots of lawn chairs, they're easy up, fuel, tires, multiple tires, rain tires. Uh, we're getting a new set tomorrow in the morning that will get thrown on, but uh, can never have too many tires, as we've learned with, uh, you know, things going flat. So we'll give that a shot. Cart's looking pretty well ready to go, everything's charged up, uh, other than we're going over it here today. And found we have broken seat stay down here on the engine side as well that cracked our seat up uh, I did fix the crack on the bottom but uh, it's kind of like a Friday at six o'clock deal we're out of fiberglass and I don't have any flux core uh, for my welder that's in the pit court pit cart so still a day late and a dollar short in our way but uh, hopefully we'll get a new one tomorrow morning or my dad's gonna bring out some flux core uh, wire with him we'll just weld that up quick and throw it on uh, when he gets out there so Here's looking for a jet tomorrow. Here we go. Okay, so it's been a bit of a hectic morning here. Uh, we're running things real fast, so a bit behind getting our new tires and uh, all that kind of squared away. Uh, qualifying our practice was good. We we're close, everybody's pretty tight. Uh, but we gotta find some more. So we got our tires set for qualifying. They got junior brakes out there right now, and uh, so we'll put the GoPro on for qualifying and see what we can do. Apparently, we're 15 points in the lead right now for the SAS series, so we'd like to keep it that way.
like a dump truck. Yeah. Yeah, it just like it just pushed like crazy. My screen shut off all of a uh, qualifying was really tight. Um, we were about eight tenths up from the leader, uh, but then there was about three or four of us that were uh, within a tenth or two. So that was good. Uh, we ended up qualifying third, got moved up to second after uh, one guy got DQ'd at Tech. So uh, that moved us up to the front row. Started on the front row of our first heat. Uh, we led a few laps. Uh, and then the cart just wasn't right, uh, it started pushing, uh, front left tire went down, uh, the cart just would not turn left. We got some help from behind through a few turns, imagine that, um, but we still managed to uh, squeak it out like uh, top three, ended up getting third in that one, so um, hope we got it fixed. Um, I think it was just a valve stem wasn't quite tight, that's on me. So, uh, we got that together. We just tore down a carburetor at Tech, so we got that put back together and clean. And uh, here we go for the last one.
just got done with the final here. Uh, that's going to do it for us today, round three of the SAS series. Uh, finished a disappointing fourth in the final. Uh, after we had a tire go down in the pre-final, we limped it home to just barely third. Uh, we're doing good. Still just couldn't hang with the leaders. Uh, got to find some speed tomorrow. Um, made a mistake and a uh, guy in fourth got by me there with a couple laps to go. Uh, shout out to Tom, he did an awesome job this weekend coming up from Saskatoon and ran us down. He, he ran us good and he got by us honestly. I can't say enough good things about racing with those guys. So good, good on them. Uh, we're going to try and keep it together here for tomorrow and uh, hopefully stay on the box for the weekend. Okay, so we just got done first practice, uh, fast-ish, like 55-3, but unfortunately we just still can't keep with those guys. Uh, ended up being fifth at eight, so I think we're gonna throw a hard gear in it and hope for the best in qualifying. If it doesn't work, well, we'll change it back, but I think that's what we gotta do, so we'll probably go up from the 34 to the 35 and see what that does for us. Okay, so I hope y'all can hear me. Um, we just got done with qualifying, picked up about eight tenths of a second with just that gear change alone which was awesome so we were a 54.5 unfortunately uh seems like everybody else picked up uh, just about the same as us so um it's gonna be real close still we got a few guys in front that are not far up they're uh, a tenth or two up the road so it's gonna be really tight it's whoever can you know hold that over 10 laps so we just gotta hope for the best going into it um and that's really all we can do uh, they're just doing qualifying for the other classes right now. We're pretty much all set up right there. And uh, yeah, here we go.
uh, was pre-final over. We did pretty good. Started fifth, and everybody's really tight. Um, managed to get by a guy for uh, fourth, and then we eventually moved up into third. So that was good. Um, it was definitely a tough goal between me and the guy that finished fourth. Uh, he was right on my back, every, like all the way through the midfield. He's just a little bit better through there. And, I knew on the last lap a shot was going to come, so I closed the door a little bit, and sure enough, there was the shot, and it kind of spun us around a little bit. But he uh, he ended up pulling up. He said that wasn't the way he wanted to do it. So uh, kudos to him. He's really good to race with, and uh, me and him always have great battles. So that was awesome. I appreciate him not just dumping us and running away with it. So he, he could have. I'm not going to lie. Like when we're kind of blocking like that, you expect it. So he, good on him though. Great racing all the way around. That's third place and. Uh, we we'll get some fuel back in it, and I don't think we're going to change anything for the final. We're 54-4 uh, for that one, so we're right there on times. So I think as good as we're going to get, so I'll give it a go again. Tell my in your wheels. It, it just happens to some people. Yeah, and you, are they tight? <laughs> yeah. 100%. Yeah. Are you sure? How much you put on the table? What if one falls off this race? What happens? <laughs> yeah, what if you lose? If, if I were you and you lose another wheel from now to the end of the season, you just drop the gloves and just go just go find something else to do. <laughs> or you invent, go to engineering school, you invent the self-tightening wheel lug nut for a go-kart. <laughs> I'm thinking you become the permanent lawnmower man and that's it. Shut her down. Yeah. Freeline loves guys like you though, so no doubt. <laughs> the Freeline dealers. <laughs> That's a wrap for us at the Santa Series for this year. And we were able to get second place in the DD2. So that was pretty sweet. Uh, that last race was pretty good. I started third, finished third, and was pressured the whole way through by some really good guys. So that was fun. And yeah, hopefully we'll be doing it again soon. <laughs>